Good afternoon. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself? Thank you. Um, my name is Richard Dannett, or more properly General the Lord Dannett. Uh, I was in the Army for 40 years and finished in 2009 as the Chief of the General Staff, that's the professional head of the Army. Um, but I'm here on board today because I'm the military patron of the Jubilee Sailing Trust and we're all enjoying welcoming IPRO on board sail training ship Tenacious today. Well, I first came across the Jubilee Training Trust a few years ago when uh, the ship Lord Nelson was in Great Yarmouth, a very fitting place because Nelson was born in Norfolk uh, and uh, came across the Jubilee Sailing Trust there. And in a conversation we hatched the idea for a Round Britain Challenge, which we just completed last week. Four legs of the Round Britain Challenge. It went from uh, London to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Belfast, Belfast to Cardiff and back to London over 40 days with four different crews. But each crew was made up of a mix of army cadets, youngsters, 16, 17, 18 year olds, and military veterans who are recovering from various difficulties arising from their service. And um, it was a great success. Everyone learned a tremendous amount and full marks to the Jubilee Sailing Trust for embarking on such an adventure like this. It's extraordinary. What was the challenges during that? Uh, well, the challenges really are that being at sea like this, particularly when there's a bit of weather, and on most of the legs of that Round Britain challenge, there, there were quite challenging weather conditions. Everybody individually is challenged. So you learn about a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about the others who you're with, and quite quickly you bond as a team, and then actually start to have fun. Fun isn't quite so great when uh, you're feeling pretty sick. I know on the fourth leg going round Land's End, most of the cadets were hanging over the side um, because they were feeling pretty green. But also you learn skills. I mean, even just today, on this short uh, outing, we've seen how to climb the rigging, climb the mast, uh, pull on ropes together, teamwork together to raise the sails. There's a lot that can learn. Well, the good thing about the Round Britain Challenge was that everyone who took part learned a lot about themselves. They learned a lot about their uh, fellow crew members. They were challenged in many ways, particularly when the weather was bad. They learned teamwork. They learned practical things like how to pull on ropes together in time to get the sails up have the confidence of going up the mast and setting the sails up on the mast. So they learnt a lot and they learnt particular skills that could be accredited to qualifications which young people is useful for building up your, your CV and for recovering veterans to give them their confidence back. So every which way the Round Britain Challenge was a real winner. Thank you very much and uh, hope you have a lovely evening and uh, on behalf of IPRO it's been an absolute pleasure just to uh, be aboard the, uh, the Tenacious. But all that, thank you. But all I would say is that um, Jubilee Sailing Trust really enjoys relationships with organisations like IPRO. Um, running these ships is very expensive, so people who sponsor sail training um, ships, Jubilee Sailing Trust, really, really important. Great to have a relationship with a wonderful product like IPRO.